What's up guys, Luke Nay here. Today I'm going to show you how to use the plugin Showcase, which is a um, pretty cool plugin because basically what it does is in-game when you want to set up a shop for players to buy items from you, you can um, place down a half slab and uh, hold down shift and right click it with uh, an item and you can sell that item to the players and the item like hovers over the uh, thing. Well, actually that sounds really dumb and I can't really explain it, but you'll see in a second. So um i'll have this linked in the description but basically you want to head to this link and this is the plugin and it's got description and info that i'm it's got more info that i'm going to cover in this video so if you want more information you can read this basically this plugin hasn't been updated for a while so i'm going to include another link under that this one right here um and then when you go to this one uh this will be the uh, 1.2.5 compatible so once you get that you can go ahead and um download it and um, you want to get it to your desktop, so um, get right to your desktop, and then go into the plugin, and you want to go to where you get these three fall, uh, three files, and you just want to drag them to your desktop, and then you can delete the showcase thing. And this is really bothering me because they messed up all the names, to compatible stuff. But really, I just want the name of the plugin, so I'm gonna go ahead and rename all these. Because I'm OCD like that. Okay, there we go. So now you want to open your server folder and go into plugins, and then you can highlight these three plugins and drag and drop them into the plugin folder. And then you want to start your server, and now it's going to generate um, folders for all these plugins. And once it does that, it can check the uh, thing. Um, you're going to get some errors from the uh, narrow tux lib. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but basically this plugin, um, I've used it a lot, and every time I've ever used it, it's had some problems. So if you get some console error, just ignore it. Um, it actually really is annoying because when you're looking at the console, um, to just check on the console, um, sometimes it'll just spit out huge error messages and it will just mess everything up but that's irrelevant anyway so um you can just ignore that for now i think everything else works so we can go ahead and stop the server and let's take a look at these um folders and as you can see we got another error message there so three folders now plugin metric showcase and um narrow tux lib so vault didn't create a folder but basically vault is here um you can research Vault if you want. I might make a plugin tutorial later, but I'm not going to explain it right now. So we can go into Showcase. There's really not much here to work with. There's just uh, basic things that you really don't need to mess with at all. Um, as you can see, it's just like messages and stuff, and then you don't really mess. You can't. There's nothing really to do in here either. Um, you can change auto update if you want, but. I guess really there's nothing to mess with and then plugin metrics there's really nothing to do here either so nothing really to do with the folders which is good because sometimes it can get complicated when you're dealing with folders now you can start up your server again and another console error which is normal and now let's go ahead and open minecraft and join the server so we can I can show you how to use the plugin okay so I thought myself. Okay. So now if you want to set up a shop for a player to buy something from, let's do it like right here. You want to get some uh half slabs which are right here. So get some stone slabs and just place them down or whatever. Then get the item you want to sell. So in this case let's do a diamond. So now you want to go up to this um half slab and you want to down shift or whatever your prone or crouch button is and then just right click the half slab this little showcase creation assistant is going to come up you're going to get some things um select showcase type and you're going to basically in here you're going to type in what kind of showcase shop you want it to be so you can have infinite basic tutorial exchange finite um pretty much the ones you're going to use are infinite 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 means that when you put the item there um it's forever gonna it's not gonna like run out of items when people buy them and then finite as like a set amount of items that you can buy from the half slab. 
and you can obviously change the in the permissions file um, who can create infinite uh, half slabs and who can create finite so that people couldn't abuse that obviously but because I'm opt I can make an infinite one so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then you can enter the price of the item so we'll just make it like 3000 so now um, let's say actually how much money do I have right now so we're gonna set my money to three thousand. Oh, Let's see. what? Slash money set to an eight. Three thousand. Oh, okay, I know what I'm doing. All right, this is not working. I'm sorry about this. Money loop to an eight set three thousand. Money give to an eight. All right. Well, I don't really know what's going on. So basically, though, normally you can go up to the shop and you can um type in one or two however many you want and then you'd be able to buy them depending on how much money you would have and you can do that again with say golden apples and we'll make these zero dollars so now if I buy this I can buy it now because I have zero dollars which is kind of annoying that I can't give myself more money but um, basically that's how it works and you I'll show you in a finite shop now hopefully this will work correctly so we'll make stone in it and one and five. Okay, so now there's five stone right here that you can buy for the price of one dollar. Obviously, I have no money, so I can't buy any. So yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much just how to use the plugin. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I hope I helped you. If I did help you, I'd really appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up because it helps me out. And if you want to see more of my videos, subscribe to my channel for future videos like this one on plugin tutorials. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed and bye.